Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my let's play of Morphite. That's what it says in big giant letters up there. Probably as a constellation, so hard to tell. So what is Morphite? Morphite is a first-person shooter, Metroidvania-ish, exploratory type of game. Say Metroidvania-ish, you'll see what I mean as we go through here. Um, basically think Metroid Prime, maybe mixed in with a little bit of... Well, I want to say No Man's Sky, but I think that's wrong. I think Signal from Talava might actually be more accurate, but we'll see. Anyway, this should be a lot of fun. This is being some good reviews on Steam. I have not gotten very far in this game, but... Um, but it's fun parts that I've had, and I love the aesthetic. I like the art. I think it's pretty good. The voice acting's decent. It's decent. We'll listen to it as we get in here. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. So we can press any button, basically, to get in here. It doesn't say that, but you can totally do it. Um, I choose the L key. Oh, actually, L did nothing. Are you kidding? <laughs> it worked for any other button I pressed. It doesn't work on L. That's hilarious. There we go. We got it. Spacebar worked. Morphite is rare. Extremely rare. My parents used to talk about it. It was the most precious thing in the universe. No, no, peace of the universe. That is one of the only memories I have of them. I've never seen any in real life, only in pictures and holograms. One day I want to find some and start my own colony away from this old station. I keep things interesting by reading and training. Mr. Mason gives me small jobs here and there so I can pay my rent. He raised me, and he taught me how to fly a ship. He's getting older, though. Isn't everyone? Mira, it's time for some combat training. Combat training? Is that really necessary? It is if you want to live. That's a good enough reason. <laughs> Kit Kat is here, and he will guide you through it. Listen carefully and follow his lead. Okay, so we get a Watch cute that. little robot rat. Or robot cat, not a rat. Use WASD to move around. It's Use your mouse to aim. It's an interesting choice using an old fashioned robot voice for your robot companion. So these, of course, contain stuff. Um, we can only pick up the stuff if we expend the ammo to do it. He's not giving us any other instructions, so let's continue on here. I'm gonna assume we go in this direction. Aim at the door, then shoot with the left mouse button. Alright. Like Metroid, you shoot doors to open them. Makes total sense. Right click on the robo spiders to target them. Then shoot. Oh, I see, we target. Okay. Eh, they don't last very long. Good to know. All right, so I have a health bar. So, okay, so we have a targeting reticle. Got it. So it looks like we go up there with some... Yep, some... We have a decent top. Oh, hello. That was totally a teleporter. Thought for some reason it was a jump pad. Mirror. Change of plans. I have a gift for you. What is it? It's a scanner. I think you are ready to take the next step in your training. Time to scan all the things! All of them! May I ask, what is the purpose of this mission, Mr. Mason? Bioscans. We need to sell them in order to purchase supplies for the shop. We're running quite low, I'm afraid. Fantastic! I'm so ready for this. I packed a pistol for you just to be on the safe side. And the pistol I was already carrying? I'm also sending Kit Kat down with you to help with the logistics. Oh boy. You won't regret this, Mr. Mason. I should be back in time for dinner. Locate the planet Avon on your star map in the Liquami system. It's highlighted in green. Oh, okay. That Once you easy. land, Kit Kat will help you out with the scans. Good luck. Don't worry, you're going to a brand new planet. Nothing to worry about at all. Not like it could be the start of a horrible, horrible misadventure. Let's go. I 
mean, what could possibly happen? Um, for some reason, Kitty Cat did not actually voice that. Oh, do we need to? We totally need to dodge these things. Okay, asteroids is appearing out of nowhere. That's totally not fair. Just saying. And WSD is um, reversed, in case you're wondering. And just barely made it into that. I think we we're supposed to go for those circle marks, but we're actually just totally fine not doing that. Okay, that kind of worked. Maybe it gave us something? I don't know. I can't shoot anything. Oh, though I might be able to pick something up. That is super close to that asteroid. I do not want to do that. Oh, yep. Okay, that's, that's no worries. Um, I, that was um, superfluous. Obviously, obviously we don't need that piece at all. Even. I don't know what that little purple thing hovering over there what is. Oh, we get a drop pod. How are they going to pick us up? Is there a teleporter in this thing? I'm just, you know, asking all the important questions. Okay, the bugs probably something we need to destroy. How do we scan things? Malfunction. Malfunction. System shut out. Oh, great. What? Just got here. Only messing with you. Oh, okay, very funny. Back to business. I don't want to be down here forever. Okay, so we can target things with our right mouse button, theoretically, if it worked. Um, our aim's not great without that target. They haven't taught me any other keys, though, so... Maybe I just can't hit these things? Um, I guess we're supposed to be scanning, not hitting them, right? Okay, so let's see what we have in terms of key commands here. If I had escape... Brings up settings. Music's probably a little loud. Let's drop that down. And controls. We don't seem to have any, though. We can remap controls, and this will tell us where everything is. Okay, so we can tab. We can do some actions with E. We can target with Q. Target with Q sounds good. Action is just generally E. All right. Tab left and tab right. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but there's probably menus elsewhere. Okay, so target is also left mouse button. Okay. Did it take away my shoot? No, because the mouse button still works. Okay. So we jump, we do inventory. Okay, all that wonderful stuff. All right, so restore defaults just to make sure that I didn't change anything, and then we're done. And we resume. Um, I'd like to invert Y for the ship, though now I seem to have lost my mouse. <laughs> did I lose my mouse somehow? How did I lose my mouse? Okay, okay, there we go. So we switch using the middle mouse button scroll. Okay, so we can scroll and look around here. So I'd like to, I'd like to examine you, please. I'd like to examine you, though can't lock onto you either. Q? Q doesn't lock onto you. I, can I examine the plant? I totally can examine the plant. Okay. Just can't examine the bug. Old Cornala. Okay. Sure. So, I mean, we're on a scientific expedition. Make sure we want to, you know, examine everything. Healthy Cornala. Okay. So, as opposed to an old one. Sure. How about this thing? Nope. Can't do that. This is a rock, but you never know. It could be something new. You don't know that. Oh, that bug looks new. Can I scan it from here? No. Hello. I can scan you, please. You keep moving, though. Some great pincers on you, i got to say. Admiring your pincer work. Strong Boogluth. All right. I'm probably totally messing up that pronunciation. That's exactly what I'm doing. Switch to Already doing that, buddy. Roger that. Keep the channel open. I may need your help. Okay, so it'll already stop. It'll stop us early on. That's good. I like that. If we already know it. There's no reason to keep scanning it, right? Yep, already on it. How about this thing? I like how it turns transparent. We Gorgo. I can't even pronounce these names. How about this thing? Can't do that. This one I think we already have. 
I like the little icons on it too. That works out well for you all. All right, so it's clear they want us to go in one direction. I mean, they don't want us to drop off the cliff. I think. Should be pretty obvious there. This is interesting. What is it? It's a mineral deposit. Shoot it to collect the minerals inside. Usually these deposits are found in caves. You can use minerals to upgrade your suit and gun. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I lost that one. It wasn't close enough. Oh, he looks possibly dangerous, but we'll see. I already know that one. Okay, I had a feeling I wasn't alone down here. No creature friendly. something. If you can stand them without being killed in the process. And look oh. at the right side. You got your pistol if you need it. Very much. Ah, gotcha. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like to have his picture taken. I mean, I'm the same way, dude. Oh, did I just die? I didn't die. I didn't die. Somehow, I didn't die. Oh, this would be another way to scan him without being... Yeah, we would totally have been able to scan him like this, too. Now we just shoot his underbelly. Or he's weak. There we go. We got him. In both ways. We took his picture and we vaporized him. Alright. Another thing over here that... Yep, already on that one. I think the gun out to be safe. I think that makes sense. Cut. I found something weird. Shoot it. Shoot it. <laughs> shoot it. <laughs> when in doubt, shoot it. Okay, I can handle this from here. Oh, that's hilarious. When in doubt, shoot it. I mean, isn't that basically any adventure ever? That's fantastic. We should read this first, though. Many power modules are an ancient technology found on various planets. They're used to send small amounts of power to a location in order to activate mechanical apparatus. It should be apparatus. Because apparatus, the tus is singular, I'm just saying. Many power modules can remove bridges and platforms in order for the system to work. All mini power modules must be activated. Okay. Okay. So do you shoot it? You totally shoot it to make it work. Can I scan it? Totally not scan it. Alright. Can I scan the box? I mean, it seems silly, but you never know. Okay, that gave us health. We didn't actually need that, but you never know. Could need that later. So I suppose makes it so I shouldn't have done that now. Okay, you I can totally hit from here. How many hits do you take? Four. Okay. I think that's the same as the last guy, so the weak underbelly thing totally didn't work. Sturdy Dookly. These names, man. These names are great. Okay, so it actually opened the door for us. I thought for sure we'd have to get more than one mini power module there. All right, so now we have. I don't think anyone has lived in here for a while. Probably I true. What it was used for. I mean, there's another power module there. Only have twelve shots left. I have to be more judicious with what I can shoot here. I don't suppose I could. No, I mean that just helps me switch for stuff. It's interesting. So that kind of leaves a lot of room on the left for a lot of different things. So we might get a lot of different kinds of weapons here. All right. So and we open that up. That's pretty obvious. I'm wondering if we, if this is a pot we can smash. Maybe I should try scanning it first. Cannot scan it. I'm going to shoot it. And we got test pencil armor. Okay, good. That totally paid off. I was worried that we we're going to be low, but I think we're actually totally fine. Desville? Really? Desville. Also, why is there just random acid in the middle of nowhere? It looks like we could raise this bridge probably by shooting that, right? That makes sense. In, like, you know, a puzzle sort of way. Doesn't actually make any sense. I guess you can see some symbolism here, right? I'm trying to make this make sense in the lore of the world. I can see that. You know, the acid represents the sins of the world, and you need to sacrifice something of yourself, in this case a bullet, to show you the right path. Maybe? I don't know. I'm making stuff up. I have no idea. It seems like that could almost be reasonable, though, right? Maybe? I like how she holsters his gun after a while. That also makes a great deal of sense. Oh, hello. And take those. The health I don't actually need yet, but the chunks could be good. Oh, save checkpoint. So we're in for a world of hurt here. Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, that can't be good. These guys didn't find what they were looking for. Yeah, no kidding. That symbol on the ground. 
I wonder if it is what I think it is. Oh, that could be the morphite. It says that's a plant. I don't think that's true. No useful data found. Um, I mean, even if you don't know what the species is, I mean, especially if you don't know what the species is, isn't that really valuable? No useful data, that's super weird. How about this? No, nothing for the bones, huh? It's weird you can scan these, but you get no useful data. Well, then why let me scan them? I should also be able to melee crates, I'm just saying. I keep hitting the F button like that's gonna let me melee something. Okay, well, more pistol ammo's good, I'll take it. Back these two, because what the hell. And eventually we'll be able to upgrade our suit, is what uh, our little Kit Kat tells us. Kit Kat's actually one of my nicknames for my girlfriend, so that's gonna be like a little weird. So instead of Kit Kat, I'm gonna call him Meow Two because that's what happens. That's what shows up when he talks. Hello. Oh, hello. Um, would you like to be scanned? Just a small picture, sir. Just a small picture. If you don't mind. Small picture. There you go. Um, they do not like how I take a picture taken, and I get hurt a little bit. But by going in circles, I think now they're all in front of me. Better if I didn't miss though. I mentioned I'm a bad shot. Okay, this one's almost dead. I mean, they, they're dropping health, so this actually isn't that bad. We totally got this. Okay, that actually opened the door over here. Yes, this is not... Excellent not talking about temple creatures. Now come back to the drop pod. Easier said than done, Kit Kat. <laughs> Five chunks. So he says back to the drop pod. Wouldn't that be that way? I mean, I kind of want to explore over this way, but... Oh, no, that's the drop pod right there. Oh, well, that's, like, super easy. We totally do that. Make sure we get all these pieces here, but I think we got... No, maybe not... No, I already got that one. I already got that one. How about this thing? Nope, this one's new. It looks like kind of like an artichoke. Fragile... I, I couldn't even pronounce that. Equine, maybe? That is totally not something we can scan. Alright. Looks like we're done. That was a nice, simple tutorial mission. I liked it. Can we jump up over here? We can totally not. Okay. Or I'm just bad at it. One of the two. Okay, so the drop pod also goes up, I hope. Okay. I'm in the drop pod. Meow. Hello. I'm in the drop pod, though? I'm in the drop pod. You told me to go to the drop pod. I went to the drop pod. Is it broken? Do I need to press the button? There's no... I mean, it looks like a button, doesn't it? But it's totally not. Maybe tap the screen? Oh yeah, here we go. Press E here to depart from Avon. Okay. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, well, that was actually easier than I thought. Mission complete. It's getting weird. I like that. It's a good mission name. Okay, so we went back to our mothership. Do Head back to the station. Let's show Mr. Mason what we found. That was my question, actually. Okay, so start map. Um. Yeah, I'm in the Ligme station, but how do I go? Yeah, I can navigate like around here. Can maybe go into the system and then we go to the station. Yes, that was totally it. So then go. The stars are not moving in a typical warp pattern, but maybe that's copyrighted. I don't know. Can you copyright that? Maybe? I don't know. Hey, Mason. Totally did your dirty work. I'm happy to see you return. Being very quiet up here. Oh, Mr. Mason, it was quite an adventure already. I've been able to scan several things for you. And how has Kit Kat been treating you? Kit Kat is... Kit Kat. But <laughs> you'll never change. I'm glad you're back in one piece. Thanks, Mr. Mason. I also wanted to talk to you about some other things I found down there. 
you know, there was this temple. I believe that I may have seen the Morphite symbol etched in stone in an abandoned temple that I was in. Looks like maybe some skeletons. It's been a while since I've heard any stories of Morphite. It's been a very long time indeed. Are you sure it was that symbol? It was the Morphite symbol. There we go. Thank you, Kit Cat, for backing her up. What happened if I found some? Morphite, that is. You might build a whole game around it. It was very powerful, Miro, and also very dangerous. But it's all gone now. Anyway, I have a special item for you. Turns you into a morph ball? It's a beacon. You okay. can use it to summon your drop pod. Why would I lose my drop pod? Okay. Now I'm going to send you to Jorla for some more scans. There is some exquisite plant life on that planet. Is Macy trying to get us killed? I'm just asking. I mean, I know that the story says that he provides us with missions. I'm just wondering, you know, if he's if he's trying to murder us. Or is he trying to get us out of the way? Okay, mission waypoint updated. So how do I... So is Jorla in the same system? It's not in green. No, that's Nifuea. Too hot. Cannot go there. Okay. Let's go back to the dashboard. No, that's dashboard is this. Okay, go to the star map then. Okay, you said mission waypoint updated. Were you lying to me? Oh, no, I see, I see, I see. The green line. The green line points me to where I'm supposed to be going. I got you. I understand. Your ship does not have enough fuel to reach this star system. Well, how do we do it? You can travel to the local space station to refuel. Your fuel also slowly recharges over time. Some systems are simply too far away. Walk to closer stars to make it to your destination. Okay. So we need to do a hop. Okay, so I can hop here. Yeah, so that's way too much fuel. That is like 77%. Wow. Okay. So we probably have, like, full fuel now, or should I go to my dashboard and verify that? I mean, we're inside a station, so it makes sense we have a full tank. Um, so let's see. Engines? No. I and mean, we can upgrade these eventually, it looks like. Oh, fuel capacity would be a good upgrade. Looks like we might get into some ship battles. Um, let's see. Scans resources. Okay, we can use our scans. Obviously, we can sell these, or some of them are used for upgrades, so it seems like we should just sell these, right? How do we... I want to sell them, though. Double-click doesn't work. Well, maybe old man Mason will tell us that later. For now, um, this says ship, but this is totally not the ship. <laughs> That's a little weird. But okay, we can upgrade our stuff here. That's good to know. These are our current weapons. Okay, so we only carry 50 shots at a time. Good to know, too. Those are all scans. These are all the resources. Okay, we have 34 chunks. And eventually, we can get more stuff from the mineral deposits. Okay. That's all the ship info. Kind of funny it didn't show up in this little interface where the star map is, but... I don't know. I'm just questioning all their design decisions. Don't mind me. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump. I can't tell what the fuel is. So I'm just going to assume we have a full tank. Let's go here. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the green bar up in the top left, that's our fuel. Okay, good to know. No tutorial in this game at all, really. I mean, except for that first mission. Okay, so there's a... Yeah, there's a station there. That is way too hot. That is safe to land at. You know what? If we're going to be stuck in the system anyway until... Um, until our fuel recharges, why not just go to this system, or this planet? And we could go to the station, too. That's probably where we sell stuff. We'll go here first and see if we can scan stuff and see what happens. It says 319 degrees, 10% atmosphere. That doesn't seem safe, but I guess it's within tolerances of our life support suit so we'll go there so what the hell right hostile ship um we're gonna fight him totally gonna fight him okay interesting we have a gunner ship here okay space is dodge we're totally dodging dodge 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 where'd you go where'd you go where'd you go there he is Dodge, 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 dodge. 
I'm not sure dodging actually worked. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I went to the wrong screen. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. My mouse went off the screen there. It's the problem with borderless windows sometimes. Totally my bad. Fortunately, I think the game actually paused for me there. Okay, so that must be what the purple was last time, is just some hostile ship showing up. Interesting loading icon there. Okay, so here we are in our drop pod. Hit the surface is a thousand miles an hour and die. That's uh, really not what drop pods do, but still. Okay, this looks cool. Doesn't look like it's 310 degrees, but you know, what do I know? I mean, 310 degrees of what? Maybe that's Kelvin. Maybe that's actually totally fine. Actually, 310 degrees Kelvin, when that's... I have no idea what that would be. We're totally going to scan everything, though, because, you know, we get paid for it, so why not? It's a cute bug. Hey, bug. Can I scan you? I can, but you don't like staying still, huh? Dude, some people just don't like their picture taken. Unfortunately, the scan starts from the beginning. I need, like, a way to freeze this guy in place or something. Yeah, then he's going up. I shoot him down. That's my beacon. I cannot lock onto him now. He just refuses to stand still. Can't scan that. We had dead tree. Can't scan that either. Okay. Kind of curious what the distinction is I'm supposed to know between things I can scan and things I cannot. Is that just something we're going to learn eventually? Oh, that looks like something we should be able to break through. Seems unlikely. Yeah, I wouldn't think my gun would have enough firepower to get through there. Could be wrong, but that's the general impression I get there. Okay, so there's some kind of fox-like creature you think is hostile? Fox or jackal or something. He might be fine. Hey, do you want a picture taken? He's totally cool with me. Okay, there's a stegosaurus over there. That's what it looks like. Some neat water. Not poison at all, I guess. Oh, yeah, he looks like a robot stegosaurus. He looks like, um... Shoot, forgetting his name. The Transformer. That actually has the form of a stegosaurus. Somehow, this guy is not hostile to me. Never mind, he has a Thagomizer on his back, but he's totally cool with me. Okay. Dude, I'm cool with you, too. I'm, there's no reason to kill you. Could scan the thing in the water. That seems like that might be scannable, right? I have no idea how we get out of the water again, so... Oh, this one might be closer. Can I scan this? Totally can. Young Uzu. Okay. We totally go inside the water. I don't see an oxygen bar, but it wouldn't make sense there would be, right? If I'm in a fully contained suit, why would I need an oxygen bar since I'm always using the oxygen, right? Seems reasonable, I think. Okay, so it looks like we're just following the river here. It's a very minimalist art style. I kind of like it. Kind of makes me feel, though, that I'm playing like a PS1 game. <laughs> And that's probably unfair. I mean, there we already got one of those. Because there's definitely things here that a PS1 could not do. Like doing the, um, I want to call it, it's not procedural generation. These are clearly handcrafted levels. Okay, this guy looks, maybe he's friendly. We were scanning it. We couldn't have, right? Unfortunately, with him moving, it's going to make it harder for us to do this. I wonder if we can... Oh, we can totally lock onto these guys with the scanner. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Oh, dude, where's that flying guy again? I didn't even think about locking on until just now. The locking on of the scanner totally makes sense now that I think about it. We already scanned this tree, right? We totally have. Okay. So, yeah, we can totally lock in on these guys. Okay, so didn't we just see a flying guy? Yeah, right there. Way too far up, though. Wow, the hell. Oh, there we go. Can I get... Oh, I scared him off. Probably won't be able to scan him. 
I wonder if there's an achievement or something for scanning like the really difficult to get guys. It's like we got all the things here. It's kind of like um, well, I mean, I hesitate to say Pokemon, but a little bit. There's that definitely that catch them all mentality that goes in with it. Okay, we totally have to shoot this door. Wrong thing. There you go. Oh, hello, big guys. Think they're friendly? They could be friendly. So hard to tell. We'll find that out next episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been More Fight. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.